My name is John Jensen. I'm the Egypt correspondent for Global Post. Tunisian President Ben Ali has stepped down and fled the country, uh, and and we've heard reports that he's flown outside of Tunisia right now, and he's no longer in command of authority. Uh, the prime minister in Tunisia has taken over. The West has has largely ignored the suppression of democracy in Tunisia for a couple of reasons. Over the past two decades. Uh, we've seen the Tunisian government clamp down very hard on uh, Islamists in Tunisia. It's a secular government, and one of the reasons I think maybe the West is turning a blind eye to some of that repression of free speech, uh, of, uh, uh, of basic democracy, is that they've clamped down so hard on Islamists. Um, you know, and they've given a lot of rights for women. It is a typically a stable uh, success story in the region. Um, no longer. Um, we've seen that the people just will not take it, the repression anymore. What started as uh, protests over unemployment and, and, and wages has turned into uh, demonstrations against police violence, demonstrations against um, the government controlling mobility, and, and has turned onto the, the lavishness of, of, of how the, their leaders are living. We've seen uh, protests and even riots here in Egypt in the past five years, most noticeably in 2008 over the price of bread. But they always end uh, through uh, security forces clamping down. Here in Egypt, they are looking at this with uh, an eye of cautiousness because uh, all of a sudden you've got a, a local populace here and in other countries that are dealing with high prices, unemployment in the numbers like 10%, and saying something like this is possible.